Welcome to Cohesive Friendship Unit. My name's Chris. I'm here with Jake. Hey, guys. Jeremy. Yo, what's up? And Brian. What's going on? Guys, No Man's Sky Beyond, the next big update, the biggest update since No Man's Sky Next, will be launching on Wednesday, August 14th. But we might not know everything we need to know about it. We might not have seen very much of it. We're going to talk all about our thoughts and maybe even concerns about No Man's Sky Beyond. But real quick before we do, we are doing a giveaway at 800 subscribers, which we are very close to, by the way. We are giving away a copy of Conan Exiles. We would super much appreciate your support. All you have to do is be subscribed. More details on our channel page. All right, guys. No Man's Sky Beyond. Here's where I'm at, right? They specifically said Beyond will contain three major updates. This was like the thing that he announced earlier this week. He reiterated that there will be three major updates, one of which is VR support, one of which is an expanded online experience, the third of which no, he has not said shit about and anywhere that I can find, and we've only seen VR support demoed to us at this point. So what do we think? So I think the, the first piece of the three pieces is No Man's Sky Online. So it, it hasn't been confirmed that we are only getting one piece the first time, but I have a feeling we will just get No Man's Sky expanded online on the 14th. Why wouldn't we get VR? Because that's the only thing they've shown us. Because he <laughs> says they're going to release three different pieces, and the first piece is No Man's Sky online he doesn't i mean i don't think they're gonna release a three-part update all at once it says three major updates rolled into one larger free release i think they're just all calling it beyond okay fair enough all right so you think we're gonna be wrong okay well let's let's talk about online first then so oh. online yeah. in no man's sky sucks right now what it, it's it's better than it used to be, but it, it it's was better not than very... not technically having. I mean, you can't do anything that like, we've tried. That's the, kind of the reason we stopped playing is because there's nothing you can do in online. You it, can't even do quests reliably. It breaks a lot. Yeah, especially with four boys. You quests can, such as they are. You can run around the world together, pretty right. reliably. But once you get quests in there, not the quests were very good. Yeah. Yeah, and we tried to do the building, but even with that, like it takes so long to gather resources. Well, then other people can't use your shit. Like there's yes, certain things right. that other like, people can't use, and like, so you think true. you're you're like building something for everybody to use, and it's like only you can use it. It doesn't tell you that. Like it's just it it doesn't. It feels like you're you're all in. You're in four different boxes, and you're in the same world, but you can't really truly interact with each other like you should be able to. Yeah, it was like four of us building our own bases next to each other and calling it the Cohesive Friendship Unit Base. Yeah, and nobody's just, ever, like, there's nobody else do. there. It's just the four. You, like, it's you and, and whoever else you choose to invite, and that's pretty much it. So that's, I think that's an interesting point that Brian touched on is... One of the things, I mean, there's a lot of talk in all the updates that Sean has given. Uh, updates is a stretch of the word, but damn. He says, No Man's Sky is not an MMO, but it's kind of an MMO. Regardless of what you want to call it, I think one of the major aspects of any online game is NPCs that you interact with. And No Man's Sky is really, really lacking in NPCs. Are we going to see updates to that? Because the NPCs in the current game can't even walk around. <laughs> Good point. I, I never really noticed that, but now that I think about it... It's <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. I, I want to wrap up online first, because then I, I do want to talk about... I, I see where we're going, Jake. So online, what can we... Like, what does online need to do? Because to me, I like they're implying... Again, we we're, were kind of debating this like a few minutes ago before we started recording... They, they're not saying it's an MMO, but they're basically implying that the online is going to amplify in number of players and frequency of encounters with players. I don't... I would rather them, like, really tune... Like, yeah, exactly. Like, tune up the four-player experience before throwing 
quote, a radical new social multiplayer experience, which empowers players anywhere in the universe to play together. Suppose that the game came through with its core promise for uh, online. The kind of implied, you know, players from across the galaxy, it's going to be a lot of players in one instance. Suppose that that's true, and there are, you know, you're running into players all the time, every couple minutes you meet someone. That Would that be fun? I don't think it would be fun. Like, you would meet someone, and you'd be like, oh, that's a guy over there. We can't do anything. Like, we, like, he, I, he can come to my base, and he can look at it, and I can be like, yep. There it is, if they and did then he can leave. If like, did... there's nothing to do in the game. No, there's nothing to do like with four shoot. players. You there's nothing like... to do with 100 players. If they did something like Destiny, Jake's the expert on Destiny here, where, like, they put a point in space, and, a tr like, they say, go, go to this point that's close enough to you in the next 20 minutes, and there's going to be a big event that happens there, and you do the event, and everybody's there, and everybody's playing. I think that would be kind of fun. Well, and they've kind of already tried that with some of like the community mission things. Yeah, but like the 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 potential for like actual interaction is almost Limited. like like you can leave like a message thing saying like such and such was here, but like you're yeah. you're not gonna like interact with another person. And at least I think, my... I'm sorry, Brian, keep going. I was gonna say I think they're gonna have to restrict it to like one area because like there's there's multiple galaxies it's not just That's like true there's there's more than one galaxy and yep. it, it's just too much like even if you have a million people playing the game if you have however many billion planets they so, have well there's 18 quintillion so there are you could yeah, go... you're gonna have to restrict it, or people will never find each other. Like, and you're gonna it... be, you're gonna need a server the size of fucking Texas. And it's gonna take thousands of planets before you organically bump into anybody. But... Right, and then they shoot you in the head, and it's <laughs> and it <laughs> does barely any damage because the shooting sucks. Like they laser beam you in the head for a few seconds, and you're like, hey, please stop, and then you jetpack away. No, dude, not with the, not with the like weapons. But if you, you don't weapons in... on you. If you don't run into anyone, I think that's good because I think that's by far the weakest aspect of No Man's Sky. Like even the community events, you actively avoid the other people that are on the planet. This game is all about collecting resources, and the one thing that collecting resources does not go well with is multiple people. It's a great point. So, I I hope it's not an MMO. I mean, they said it's not an MMO. I hope they focus on like you and your three friends hop into the game. And just do something interesting. What would that look like, though, Jake? Because that's my fundamental issue: is I struggle to even envision what an interesting multiplayer experience would be. The combat is not fun or interesting, and out and like outside of that, the core mechanics of the game are, as you said, collecting resources and scanning things. That's not. It's barely interesting to do with, in my opinion, with one person. Let alone like, how is that but, a multiplayer experience? But hold. There, there's a there's a lot of untapped potential in Agreed. what they have with the ships and the weapons in particular. Multi-person ships, right? Multi-person ships, multi-person vehicles, like like have like the thing is like oh these people are all allied with these aliens and they want to blow up a fucking planet, and all these people are trying to keep them from blowing up the planet, and then if they succeed in blowing up the planet, it stays in the mm -hmm. game forever. Like that's kind of cool. That's, that would be awesome, but and and that's something that's feasible. Like they could do something like that if they had more than, like what, ten people? Thirteen, I believe. I'm not but sure. That, that relies on combat or something like that. But they which... have they have the base of that. They have a beginning for that. The yeah, foundation they do. is very good. I think if they improved, I mean, if they made anything out of their combat system or did any sort of improvement to the building system it would make it better but i think i mean they have like the basic basic building blocks i mean these are like the atoms that you start with when you're trying to build a skyscraper like the what they have now and what they're promising doesn't seem to line up with what i can see well i, I agree i think they're trying to go in too many directions i mean vr is a lot that's yeah, a lot yeah that's, a, that's a... Let's... And having fun combat is something that 
games that exclusively and explicitly which are about combat struggle to have like you have a game like fallout which has way less going on than a game like no man's sky and the combat in fallout sucks pretty bad like having fun combat is a challenge in and of itself and i think that we've seen that like just having a mission to go kill something is not fun if that like, act isn't fun in and well, of itself the we've enemies also really games. suck in no man's sky like, yeah the enemies, there's like two the of enemies them. suck and like the the space thing if they want to do combat they should go with like ship combat because that's i would say that's out of the two like that's running around better. on planets and flying ships that's way better or the even ex is extra craft combat too they could emphasize that much yeah better. right right and make it like like they're always the the lore of the game is always talking about these huge like galactic battles let's fucking have one if that's what you want to make it you know, but that's what, if that's what you want to do, that's what you have to commit to. Which brings the VR thing into the into the glaring spotlight. Well, let's yeah. okay, yeah, let's let's segue in, into VR because that's the known enemy entity that we are guaranteed. Like that's the one thing that people have actually gotten hands on time with and seem to like it, kind of. Have well, people gotten hands on time with the VR? Well, yeah, like IGN, I, yeah, yeah. journalist, okay. not not cohesive friendship unit. We we have not yet. Yeah, yeah, one of these days. days. We're we're getting our code next Mails week, Jake. Shine. Don't worry. We're waiting on the review copy. We're getting our code yeah. on August fourteenth, Jake. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> I'm. This is my most anticipated PC VR experience personally, as someone who owns a VR headset. Uh, I am worried that it'll make me really sick, and I won't be able to play it though but I think this game works well with VR. It's slow paced. Like Jeremy said, it's a lot of scanning, a lot of exploring, just casual roaming. I think that works. This it's game, like 93% visual. Yeah. This game so it makes sense translating to VR. To VR. This, like the, the, the graphics are kind of simplistic, like hmm. especially on the planets, like with the procedurally generated stuff, it's, it's kind of simple. And, you know, VR doesn't necessarily have as much shop right now at a reasonable price yeah mm -hmm. in terms of graphics hardware so like i think this was built for vr from day one but yeah. i think they're biting off more than they can chew because the market penetration on vr is still kind of not that great so i the vr i think is very exciting and that would almost be enough for me to buy a vr headset if it's good but i think vr and multiplayer do not mix. No. I mean, there are a couple of VR Weirdly. combat games. I mean, I played a bunch of VR when you were here, Chris, and all of the shooting kind of VR demos are all stationary or very confined. Yeah. Games like Fallout or Doom VR, they require you to teleport around. And if this game is going to be VR and non-VR people mixed, how do you balance people teleporting around and people walking around? on a planet when this game is all about walking or driving or flying. Well, you'll have the option to walk or fly or not teleport, basically. It'd probably be you sit down and do it with the, you walk with the joysticks. That, and you, yeah. can, you can move your hands and stuff, but like, you, you actually experience. move the character with the joystick. Well, you know, for flying a spaceship, it ain't bad. No, great point. Great I would point. also right. agree with what you said, Jake. If there was a, like, if a VR headset came up for like cheap, cheap, I would consider buying it to play this because I think this would be fantastic in VR. Yeah, I, I'm it very may be a killer app if they can do it right. The thing that gives me a little bit of hope is that it's coming out on PSVR as well, which is a significantly underpowered VR system when you consider like a high-end PC compared to a base PS4. Uh, so right. from that perspective. I, I think it's going to run pretty okay. Uh, and yeah, as long as it doesn't make you sick, this is a great game for VR. Unfortunately, the VR aspect only affects a, a fairly limited user base. But I remember th before this game came out, I used to listen to a No Man's Sky launch podcast back in 2016. And there was one episode dedicated to can you imagine a day when this comes out in VR? Like, if this could ever come out in VR? And I was like, I was like, holy shit, that'll never happen. But here we are. So I'm, I'm happy. 
here we might be. Well, it's going to happen. But yeah. Well, you, Chris, you're like, oh, it's coming out on PlayStation. That gives me confidence. Remember, the base game, back when it was a complete and absolute clusterfuck, came out on PlayStation and Xbox. Just because it's coming out doesn't mean they have their ducks in a row. That's fair. Well, I mean, like Brian said, once you load into the game, I mean, you can run it on your cell phone practically. That's an exaggeration, but it doesn't take a lot to get the game going once you connect. It's the initial load that is brutal. Yeah. Uh, there's just so I, much locomotion in the game. That's what worries me. Yeah, and that's that's what I was getting at with multiplayer involves moving around. I mean, I think multiplayer involves some sort of combat that has to happen, but I don't think it's going to mix well with the VR. I think if they need to get anything right, they should get the VR right. That's the could, most exciting thing. Could there be multiple instances? Like, could there be a single player and a multiplayer mode to the game? Like, you have to load into a different instance if you want to play the think, quasi MMO thing, and then maybe VR is restricted to single player? I think you're going to see that regard. I think for the MMO thing, they're going to have to do something like that. Where, like, you can play with up to four people in, you know, the whole procedurally generated universe, but, like, if you're going to play with multiple people online, it's going to be restricted and i think that the restri the limitations or the differences between vr and like keyboard that's going to be a whole separate thing so you may end up with like four yeah i could see that it says play no man's sky or any other update uh play multiplayer casually wave to your vr non-vr friends or fist bump your vr peers i mean they already have uh like you can hop into your friend's game or you can join a public, like you can already shut your your game down for public. Like yeah. you can still play solo, play with your friends, or yeah, open it all the way up to random people. So, but that's what I'm saying. Maybe VR will be restricted to the single player. No, like it's not. Is what I just read. It's confirmed to not. Yes, play multiplayer yeah. and casually wave your not wave to oh. your non VR friends or fist bump your VR peers. Oh man, this can be a clusterfuck. Yeah. Well, any, let's let's talk about this mysterious third thing, which, uh, as far as I can tell, has not been mentioned at all. Again, Beyond will contain three major updates rolled into one larger free release. They've named uh, Expanded Online. They've named VR. They there's literally nothing about the third one. I think Jake kind of hinted at it with the NPCs not being able to walk. I personally think it's going to be a new campaign. Yeah, storyline. Quote unquote campaign. Well, yeah, well, exactly. Like a new storyline. That's just Quote unquote, or like a big, a big quest. That would be underwhelming. But what, what what do you guys think? I think it's right. going to be the uh, hot coffee mod. <laughs> well, the Fire to, Emblem like, Three Houses all the, mod. All the, all the Fire Emblem aliens. Three Houses DLC and No Man's Sky Beyond. That'd be weird. Most ambitious crossover. Because like you're not you're not human. That's, or are you? That's the no. You're not. You're a uh, yeah. You're, you're not. They, you're they, a they, you're specifically not human. Like yeah. you're a different kind of thing. That would be weird, man. You gotta teach them your ways. You're well, what do, what do you be. guys think it should be, or what do you guys want? So the the only real promotional video that we've seen for this update has like the VR and the multiplayer building stuff. So I'm gonna assume multiplayer focuses on base building. VR is VR. A lot of people might have been asking for space stations, but I'm kind of hoping that it's a combat update of some sort. Well, there'll probably be a bunch of little stuff rolled in. I don't know, though. I mean, like, this is a team of 10 people. Like, they promised a lot. <laughs> I don't know how yeah, much they can roll into this. They might that's tweak what, the That's what Sean does. He promises a lot. <laughs> That's that's the last thing we're going to talk he about. Doesn't, Are they? I mean, he is, still has not recovered from that. I hope that he has not made the same exact mistake by overpromising. That's the last thing we're going to talk about. Hold on to that thought. I agree with Jake. I would like to see more than just tweaks to combat, like a combat system that is fun and interesting. Because I I've put about sixty hours into the game, and like I'm just at an absolute roadblock. But and I I understand that's a long time. Um. But I think that, you know, maybe 20 or 30 of those hours were subpar. And I think that it really just, like, the game needs some meat on its bones, other than just being a procedurally generated world simulator. 
that I think that might maybe combat would help. I also think that an NPC update would be perfect. Cool. I mean, anything to just make them either. You can barely even call them NPCs right now. They're the exact same thing as a computer terminal. Mm -hmm. No, they wave to you. Suck you ships. <laughs> I mean, there you go. Like, Ryan's playing it. <laughs> some update to NPCs would add a lot. Yeah, even just basic walk cycles. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, like it, it that does detract quite a bit from the game. They now fly in their ships it. and land the ships that you can buy it from. That, that's they better than walking. The they can't, yeah, get, no, out they can't the get out of ships. Of course not. <laughs> I agree. I think that would be good. Uh, I think that would be manageable. But manageable, too. On the scale of... Okay, here's the thing. We have two out of the three modes, right? We have online and VR. Those are two fucking ridiculously big, lofty, like, ludicrous goals for the game. The third one, the fact that it's a secret makes me think, well, we're I definitely going to be let down. But it implies that it's, like, even more ridiculous, right? I, no, I think it's an ambiguous press release. I think it's yeah. something that was, like, we had three ideas early in development, yep. and one of them kind of sucked, so we put them together with the two really good ones, and we're calling it a big update. Yep. All right. That, that's how I read it. It's fair enough. I yeah. think it was an overpromise that they can't back away from. They've put three updates in all their press releases, and now they're just going to, like, say that the third update is, like... You know, you can be poor. NPCs fixes. have walk cycles. Um, yeah. I, okay. I think we would be lucky if they get walk cycles, dude. Well, let's talk about the last thing. Is Sean pulling a Sean? Is he biting off more than he can chew? And is he, like, is this gonna blow up? Like, is this update gonna just suck ass? Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's gonna. Yeah. I think there'll be th some things that are nice, but he is way over. Like they can't pull this off. They can't. They they just can't. Like they, there's the the slow progress that there's been. Even though it's been getting better, the the progress has been very slow. And you know, again, they've got like less than definitely less than twenty people. Uh, that's kind of understandable. But when you're coming out with stuff that's like, eh. Uh, on top of a game that people were like, this is an overpriced piece of shit. Like, you got big shoes to fill and you can't keep doing shit like this. And why would he have learned his lesson? He promised no, the moon way no, back and... I, I think there are... That being said, I think there are things that will be good and enjoyable to people who have played the game before, but I, I think that they think it's going to be more earth shattering than it actually is. I think yeah. they're going they think they're going to sell a lot of units. I don't I don't think this is going to be an absolute train wreck like initial release. I think of course not. I think VR is going to be good. I think they spent a lot of effort. There has been like you said Chris, there has been news outlets that have played it and while they may not be reliable, at least it's not awful they, someone would have said something but i think multiplayer is gonna be a shit show i don't think it's gonna be good when it comes out and i think this third release this third aspect is going to be non-existent like jeremy said but at a minimum vr will work and it yep. will be it'll be good i'm with I you jake that. i think i think if anything goes well it's vr Again, like you said, outlets have played it. Outlets have been fairly positive, and this was months ago. I think VR is going to be great, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I think online is going to be much like online for next, where, yeah, maybe it'll be bigger, but it's still going to be broken. And the third thing is, yeah, it could be anything. And I would qualify single-player VR is going to be, I think, probably functional, because that's the only thing anyone's tried. And I... I, Fair. I I don't think it's going to well yeah work I, in, in the you, multiplayer. I think we all agree online is uh, prone to serious Means issues. Means improvement. Yeah, and scaling up online. It's like you haven't fixed the four player online. I don't know if I can trust you with the whatever you're doing. But well, they're doing it. Whatever it is, they're doing it. All right. Any any closing thoughts? I think we're. I think we 
hit this pretty hard. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, I think we're all <laughs> definitely going to check it out. I'm excited to check it out in VR on the 14th. I think we're all going to at least dabble in it together. Nope. Game, I guess. Game of the oh, year. Oh, game oh, of the oh. year. Already I might game buy of the a headset. Year. Jake's going to buy a headset. Uh, and yeah, well, no, we'll we'll have we'll definitely have a follow-up video to this. Would be my guess. It'll either be very positive or very negative. Would be my <laughs> thoughts. But until then, what should our viewers do so they can get that follow-up video, Brian? Well, you know, it's 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 good that you said that, and it's also good that we're doing that that giveaway that you mentioned earlier to all of our subscribers. So why don't you become a subscriber, especially if you watch this far, because you know you like the video. Uh, we have a ton more content like this on our channel, and you'll be not only entered into a chance to win that, that Conan, uh, code, Exiles. But Conan Exiles, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you'll also get updated with all the continuously cohesive, cohesive friendship unit shit we're doing here on the Cohesive Friendship Unit channel. And uh, if you have any thoughts on Sean's latest capers, go ahead and hammer them on down in that in that word box there. We, we love hearing your comments and reading them and whatnot so uh go ahead and, and leave your thoughts and uh smoke them if you got them guys that's all for me tonight chris thank you brian catch you guys next time